What's up? My name is Nathan Riley, and I have decided to start a daily vlog. Now, the reason in this is I decided to recently just up and quit my job and just start a company. The reason why, you know, I'll talk about my background a bit. Who am I? Why did I do this? You know, why did I think this is a good idea? And you know, some of my setbacks, uh, because with me doing a daily vlog, I'm going to take everyone along for the ride, along for the journey, and uh, I know right now, like, since I'm just getting started, no one yet really knows who I am. This is, this is my first time talking to the outside world. Uh, so first and foremost, I come from the land of cybersecurity, aka the land of The quieter you are, the safer you are. And so now I'm free to go and talk about whatever I want as I please. I can talk about my work day. That's new. So for those of you who are curious about that world, I get to talk about it. Well, I can't talk about the things that I've done because a lot of that's confidential. But I can talk about certain things. And I can broach subjects that people might wonder about like, are you really being watched all the time? What's really going on with your data? Is privacy really a thing? Is it possible? Because, let's be honest, no one really knows these days. Uh, but there's a lot that I know, and for others in my field, uh, we just generally can't talk about it. And so that's why I am actually, I'm, I'm making a product business. It's called Notion Point, And I'm gonna create a product that is designed to kind of help people succeed with boring tasks that might take months to automate. So, you know, here's my journey. Uh, so, first and foremost, uh, let me talk about who I am a little bit. Also, if you heard that squeaking noise in the background, here's the culprit. He is actually one of the founders of the business, too. Um, so, actually, I have a service dog, and uh, this guy allows me to get around, which I can, I'll talk about. So, uh, yes, I'm a founder with a service animal. There's a reason why I have him, and he's pretty much there every day and an everyday part of my life. Uh, so, I'm not really starting the business alone, or am I? But <laughs> nonetheless, uh, his name is Augustus. Say hi to Augustus. Um, He's an Alaskan Klee People always ask me, like, what is that thing? Almost like it's some sort of demon. No, actually, um, obviously they don't think he's a demon, but he's, he's a little unusual. This is his full size. He's, he's kind of like a tiny husky dog. Yeah. Yeah. As a youngin', I was born and raised in the lovely state of Colorado. In school, I was a little bit of a self-made outcast because I'd always wander off to go make random things to try to sell to the other kids, and they'd always call me strange, a little bit of a loser. But they bought from me anyways. And when I graduated high school, I made my first actual product. It was a little video I created called Moving Along, which was the first time I made like my first grand off of something that I made. I didn't have an actual job. Just selling things to kids was my job. Uh, so as I went to college, I started making money DJing and also uh, just doing side gigs and plays and soundboarding. I always really just kind of worked for myself. I didn't really get a job until one day my scholarship that was provided to me. They were like, you need to get a real job so that we can see that you're trying. So it was in Gunnison, Colorado, oftentimes called Sunny Gunny, where I got my very first job. And I worked there at a little like computer shop. And over there, you know, I sold cell phones. And then one day they were like, hey, you seem pretty good with technology. Do you want to try doing IT? So I said, sure, why not? And I'd help out with just networking around the city and setting up computers and working with city networks. And I worked for the president, 
president of the Chamber of Commerce and the governor at the time. So I had a lot of exposure to uh, local businesses. And with it being a small town, I, I became one of the people who more or less helped run businesses around the town because we were the only technology business. So we just took care of all the technology for all the businesses. Small town work is where I learned the most in my career, surprisingly. And then when I moved on to a supposed, you know, fancier job, it was a great job, a little company in Boulder. I did network engineering and network administration, and we started building a cloud platform, and I started working heavily with disaster recovery, and we worked with a lot of law firms, and so I got very familiar with working with law and compliance organizations and uh, those types of businesses. I started learning about HIPAA. I started learning about compliance and all the things that really turned me into who I am today. After that, I got hired at a company called Logarithm. Logarithm is a cybersecurity company that develops a SIM product and platform. And that is where I started doing work around the world, working with organizations in Europe and Asia and actually traveling out to different countries and whatnot for work. And uh, eventually started working heavily with data science and uh, being able to move to the lab at the company and being able to actually develop part of the product and, and build the compliance products and offerings for the pr platform. Suddenly, about a year ago, I ended up in the emergency room and this isn't really a pity story, and I'm not a person who feels sorry for myself, so I'm not really going to focus on that all too much. But what I will say is the doctors pretty much told me that, oh, you know, you should probably just never leave your apartment again. You can just work from home and be forever banished to solitude. So I looked for an option to be able to go out and do things again and be a productive member of society who can actually not just lock myself away at home and the solution turned into getting a service animal to help do medical alerts so that I could uh, go do things and I realized that uh, it's time for me to go back to my roots of just doing my own thing selling stuff and starting a business which is what I am doing today. Now that I'm starting the company Notia Point We will talk frequently on subjects about data, privacy, what's going on with data, artificial intelligence, and working with data using artificial intelligence. What is all of that nonsense? Uh, because uh, we want to use artificial intelligence to make it easier to work with big data and machine learning and uh, figure that out. At the end of the day, we are a research organization, so we'll be researching things. We'll be talking to people about what, what are their struggles and for some of you who might be watching, we'd love to talk to you and I'd love to hear from you. And so, I mean, we're, I'm doing this for you, whoever's watching, and if there's something that you're doing that's mundane and grindy and there's a solution that maybe we might be able to help, that's what this is all about. So my first step is I need to actually create something to sell, which I'm working with right now. I have a team of founders, a bunch of wonderful people, and uh, of course, starting a business isn't easy. I never expected it to be. Obviously, I've done little things in the past. None of them were ever easy. I love it. And it's a lot of work, a lot of soul grind. And I'm going back to my roots. And people encourage me. They're like, Nathan, you should start a business. And said it to me time and time again. And said they were interested in what I have to say, what I have to offer to the world. And... Here I am, at it again, just on a bigger scale. So here we go. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you found my video interesting, give me a like. If you find it extra interesting, subscribe and follow me.